Hey all, this is Dregan, and we're playing Final Fantasy VI. Let's roll. Uh, now anyone who's seen any of my videos before will know that this is my first ever video. Oh, uh, obviously my first ever Let's Play too. As you can see I chose an RPG, what with its endless travelling and repetitive random encounters I can't see how it could possibly go wrong. Um, it's actually a game I've been wanting to play for a long time. I did play it ages ago, however I remember literally nothing of it, so this playthrough is practically blind. And I've blathered it off, so let's get on, let's skip this intro. I did actually try to start this a few seconds back, but for some reason all the frames kept skipping, it was going ridiculously fast, I couldn't keep track of anything, so... Attempt 2! Here we go! The ancient war of the Magi. When its flames at last receded, only the charred husk of a world remained. Even the power of magic was lost. Yes, I will read everything. In the thousand years that followed, iron, gunpowder and steam engines took the place of magic, and life slowly returned to the barren land. Isn't it exciting? And now it's going at a speed I can actually read it, which is handy. Yet there now stands one who would reawaken the magic of ages past, and use its dread power as a means by which to conquer all the world. Anyone ever heard of Final Fantasy VI should know who it's talking about. I mean, as I say, I've not played it ages, but... <laughs> He's a pretty well-known villain. Could anyone truly be foolish enough to repeat that mistake? Get my magic eight ball. All signs point to yes. Hello? Anyone here? Ah, there we go. Biggs and Wedge, classic characters. There's the city! Hard to believe an Esper's been found frozen there a thousand years after the War of the Magi. Bah, probably just another wild goose chase. I don't know, I've probably just swapped the voices around at some point here, I don't know. They wouldn't have let us use her unless they were confident that the information was good. Ah yes, ah witch. I hear she fried 50 of our magic tech tar, but soldiers in three minutes. Kind of makes your skin crawl, don't it? Relax, with that thing on her head, she's a mindless puppet. The girl won't even breathe unless we tell her to. Which kind of concerns me, if she's not breathing right now, that's just driving around a corpse really, isn't it? We'll approach from the east, move out. Yeah, I'm pretty certain I did swap the voices halfway through there, but... Oh well, who cares, the bigs and wedge, they're indefinable. They're practically the same person. Uh, What's this again? I'll say it's been ages since I played it so I can't remember anything. But walking? We gonna get anything? Quite like the music in this game, it's quite quite nice music and... Oh right, yeah, credits, of course. Die. The girl takes point, and I don't waste time on the riffraff. Remember what we're here for. Let's move! How exciting. Right, um, Up or right? Uh, can go right. Let's see what's this way. It's a man and a dog. The Empire's got no business here! Ha ha! <laughs> ah, yes, classic battle music. And the dog is no more. And he runs away like a wuss. Gets his dog killed, runs away, you know. Classic way, and... Can I get... Can I not get through there? Great, so I've got this great heaving armour, it means... Well, what's even the point of putting enemies that way if we can't go there? Imperial Magitek armour? Not even Nosh is safe anymore! You 
Yeah, for the first few battles, you can basically just spam A. I mean, the Magitek armor basically obliterates everything. Go, go, go! Question mark, question mark, question mark, question mark, question mark. Big's gained a level! Where's gained a level? Aren't you excited? Surely leveling up these characters will be important, what with them not even being given their own individual sprites. Oh look! More puppies! Look at the puppies, look at the puppies! Kill the puppies! Kill the puppies! Do, do, do. do you love my tactic here? Spamming A at the enemy? Truly I am ingenious. Yeah, you have to consider, why why send your dogs forward then attack yourselves? Surely wouldn't it be more strategic to attack at the same time? Also I'm bored, we're gonna use Bio Blast just because it'll be a bit more entertaining. And Wasn't that fun? See, I can do more than spam A. Now you are entertained. Yet again, I half suspect we can't go this way. No, no, okay. Huge clunky armour. Can't get anywhere. Obviously can't go up steps either. So like I'm a Dalek now. I oh, can go up these steps. Ah, and we're surrounded, that's great. And we're only being attacked by one dog and two people, despite the fact there were two dogs there, I'm pretty certain. Does this game even pay attention to itself? Oh well, Ice Beam that, uh... Fire Beam that... And, uh... We'll use a Thunder Beam on the last one, just to be, uh, different, you know. Yay! Question mark, question mark, question mark, question mark, question mark, question mark, gained a level! Oh, finally new map. Anything different here? More snow? Everyone likes snow. What, what, what were they? Oh, woolly mammoths. That makes sense. I get attacked by woolly mammoths regularly. I kind of assume fire's probably good against them, what with them being, um woolly mammoths. <laughs> Generally sort of like related to the ice age and ice, so... Yeah. Seems to do about double damage, I'd say. No, 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 not at all, it's just because I've leveled up. Oh, eight minutes into the let's play and nothing has happened yet. Well, we've gained some levels. Gaining levels is always good, right? Go up more steps. Oh yeah. Up oh, stupid rocks which this suit cannot get around. Ah, oh, I've got people ripping out my insides! <laughs> According to our source, they unearthed the frozen esper in a new mine shaft they were digging. This must be it. Oh, I climb back inside. It hurts. It hurts so bad. <laughs> All right, I can walk through that. Ooh, shiny, shiny. Get the shiny. Strange light fills the air. Do you want to learn about? No, we know how save points work. At least I hope so. Can we go through there? No, no, we can't. Of course we can't because we're in this huge clunky armor. What the? Hell? Um. Bandit. Okay, so you see three people walking around, two of which are obviously soldiers, all of which in this giant Magitek armor. And your first port is you're going to rob them. Are you a plank? Probably going to uh, stop this let's play now because coming up to 10 minutes, so I'll see you next time.